Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while since I put anything up, but you know, life sometimes gets in the way. So, today we're going to be talking about the Metacom Mafex X-Force Deadpool here. He's my first Mafex figure. Um, I got him at a toy show a couple months ago, I think. I don't remember when I got him. But he was a good price, so I picked him up. So first off, since he's my first one, I'll show off the packaging. I don't keep much of my packaging, but for kind of some higher-end figures, I, I do. So there's the box. You got your Deadpool. I guess it's number 172. You got the stand in there. That's part of the accessories, but right there. So... Deadpool X-Force. Deadpool on the side there. Looking all Deadpool. Kind of a action shot on the side. There's everything you get. Do, 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 do. There's the buyer. Why did they say Project 1-6? I don't know what that means. It's a 112 scale figure, so I don't know why it says that. But And there's the bottom with the barcodes and everything else. So There we go. That's the box. Oh, now let's talk about the figure here. Let me take a look at him. He's uh, Deadpool in gray and black. He looks great. I think this is one of the alternate heads, not the one that comes on him in the package, but, you know. A little bit of paint miss right there on the biceps, but that happens. And pouches, because you always need pouches. I think he looks fantastic. Painted generally pretty well. Got a couple of mishaps here and there, but that'll happen. I don't know if that's like battle damage or if it was dropped before I bought him. I don't know. A little bit of mix there on the sheets. But yeah, overall, very, very nice. Now this is the kind of intimidating part is going over all the accessories that he comes with. Not too, too many, but a good chunk. So you got that head kind of wide opened. And then you got this one here. It's all squinty. I'm about to mess someone up. And you got this one. It's kind of neutral, kind of angry, but it still looks pretty good. And he's got this one, super squinty. Can't tell if he's kind of smiling in this one or. Maybe he's happy. He's happy to be doing a murder. I don't know. But they all look great. All painted well. And of course, just... Yep. Pull up. Pop off. This course got the little crook in the peg for the neck. Little bend layer. Let's put on... Let's go with the angry head. Pops right on. And then for hands, he's got a gripping hand and a trigger finger hand on him. I swap those out. He comes with a set of open palms. I love how they come on this little tree or little bar. Makes them easier to swap out. Then he's got thumbs up and hands. He's got pointer finger and a fist. 
kind of style posey hands. Like, I'm going to get you hands. Another grip hand and fist. And then another trigger finger hand and another finger gun hand. And these are pretty easy to swap out. You just pull them off. And you can go like that. And this is a little cup is a separate piece, so you got to make sure to not lose that. And then you just kind of bloop it on. Pew, pew. Put the grippy hand back on. Like I said, since they're on the little bar thingy, he keeps the holes roughly the right size, so that's nice. Then he comes with... They're not quite katanas. They look more like machetes. But they're painted nice. I think they're probably cast in silver and painted black. Would be my guess. There's those. And for these, to put them in the hand, there we go. You pop off the back, slide it in, and then you pop on the pommel. Now he's armed. Then what's kind of cool is you can pull these little parts out so it looks like he's actually drawing a sword now he doesn't come with any guns but if you're like me you've probably got toys that have extra guns extra accessories lying around I just pulled out a random Fortnite shotgun that I had in a bin and that should just go right in the trigger hand So now he's armed. <clears throat> and I just popped off the trigger hand. Oh no. That was not meant to happen. Just pull that out. Or if you have kids and they enjoy collecting like little blind bag things, I got this little knockoff nerf gun nerf gun from one of the I think it's a toy mini brands. So you can have them nerfing people too. Whatever you want to do. Now, I'm going to keep that sword in there for right now. Let's go over some articulation for the head. Looks, it's got a joint at the head and the neck, so it looks up pretty far. Down. A lot. You got your right and left. And then you got a bunch of wiggle on there with the neck and the head. You can get all types of different poses on it. The shoulders have the, I don't know if it's a butterfly, dumbbell, whatever it is, but you can drop it down, shift it up. You got some in and out. And that one goes up that high. Rotates all the way around. You got your bicep twiddle. Elbows. Let's try the elbow bend on this one. About that high. And then for the wrist, you of course got swivel on there. And you can set it, set the ball in there to whether it goes in and out. And I about lost that. Get that back on there. This one does not want to cooperate with me today. Backwards. I guess I put it on backwards. 
keyed? Yeah, it is. Okay. So that was my fault. But the wrist, you can choose to hinge in and out, or you can spin it so that it goes up and down, which is good since you don't normally have a trigger finger on there. For the torso, it goes forward that much. Back that much. And then you get rotation up here. And you get some tilt on there too. And the legs, you've got thigh swivel up there on the ball. And then they go that far forward. A little bit back. Is there a drop down? Oh, there is a drop down. And then out. Pretty much all the way. Knees bend. And that far. And then for the ankles, you got your back forward. You got your rocker, and you can also rotate at the ball too. And then a little toe joint. Boop. So, yeah, this guy is a little bit fantastic. And I'm glad I picked him up. I'm kind of glad he was my first Mayflex figure because he's just been a lot of fun to mess around with let's throw him in a quick little whatchamacallit pose and he falls over because I moved my sheet but why are you doing this to me? Let me get that hand back on there. So yeah, if you can find them for a good price, I definitely highly suggest picking them up. And as always, thank you for coming and checking it out checking it out with me I should say I hope y'all have a wonderful day night whatever time it is where you are and remember you have to grow old but you don't necessarily have to grow up and uh, like comment subscribe all that happy fun stuff if you liked it all um, yeah, have a good night